drive mode. Hi, so here is my review, uh, menu interface review and uh, main function review from <coughs> Urive Albatross 2 dash camera. So now it's booting up, uh, as you heard at the beginning, it uh, gave voice signal uh, shifting from uh, parking mode to the drive mode. So here is the warning. Impact during parking has been identified. Uh, if you, if the G sensor identifies and records any events, uh, G sensor, Start recording. G sensor force, it will prompt the message. Uh, at, the is connected. at the display as you heard so it's good to know when you're coming back for example from shopping uh, is, is something happened does anybody hit your car from rear front uh, side so okay let's move on so now it started uh, recording and as you heard it's uh, prompted the message that GPS is connected and it records at full HD front uh, camera this is a capacitive touch screen, as you can see, and also you can use, you know, like, uh, pen type tools. So, let's go through the through the main menu. And uh, this is the front view. Uh, here is the live rear view recording. Then we can go to, this is image save, it's gonna take the pictures, so now it's took picture. Uh, LCD will turn off after one minute if no touch is uh, detected, but if you want to uh, LCD switched off quick, quicker, just press this button here. Uh, this uh, icon is to format your micro SD card. This is image view to view the files, system information. Stop recording. It stops recording and shows the, the all the systems. How many files? Parking files, parking impact files, event files, capacity uh, of the micro SD card, how much is recorded, how, uh, the total one. <coughs> Okay, now we hit the home button. Start recording. Okay, let's go and settings. Stop recording. So as you hear, every time it's prompt a voice mail, uh, voice message, and okay, microphone. Here is voice recording uh, on off volume to set the volume. Voice recording on off. Let's go back screen. Uh, this is picture-in-picture -picture function. I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's start recording. This is the rear, rear, rear camera. As you can see, rear camera is on the main screen. When you tap... Uh, okay, front view camera. Uh, now the front camera is on the main screen and I can drag actually This is the front camera. If I tap, it changes. So, rear, rear camera, I can drag. Or the, the camera which is in the picture-in-picture uh, -picture mode, I can drag to any of the four corners here. Okay, let's go back to the settings. Stop recording. Screen. So, this was picture-in-picture. And this one here is a uh, rear camera uh, mirror image switch on or switch off. So it means uh, it can it can record direct uh, directly how it uh, appears on the camera or mirror image. However, if you go back to the main screen, uh, okay, let's start recording. rear view so on the main screen it still will appear the way it appears as, as a mirror image uh, despite even if you choose uh, one or another function but in the 
recorded files folders later on you will see uh, the, the exact uh, mirror uh, image which you chose the mirror image or, or direct straight mirror uh, image but on the LCD here it will always appear in, in one mode this is the screen calibration function screen saver about screen saver there are three options no use uh, speed uh, screen saver and time screen saver. What does it mean if I choose now time? Okay, hit the recording function or, or continue. So after one minute, if nothing detected, um, no touch uh, have been applied to the screen, it goes into the time. Uh, time will be appeared here on the screen and after another one minute the time will go off so it, the screen will be blank okay let's go let's go again to the settings stop recording screen about speed uh, this will show after one minute if uh, there is no there is no tapping on the screen it gonna show the actual speed which uh, is detected from the GPS. So again, one minute uh, front uh, camera view. After that, it goes into the speed mode, shows the speed on the screen, and after that, after one minute again, it goes to the black screen. So let's take this and image image save its uh, camera mode it's uh, set to 5 megapixel okay go back so let's see what we have system system here you can set uh, different different g sensor uh, settings for example driving impact during driving, uh, how sensitive is G-sensor? Uh, insensitive, normal, or, or very sensitive. Okay, then parking impact, the same way, three, three options. Gently. Parking motion detection. This is battery cutoff uh, function here. You can set battery cutoff function by voltage or by timer so it means like uh, in parking mode for example if your battery goes lower than set figure here the device will shut down and will, t will not drain the battery or you can sh uh, set the recording in parking mode for 6, 12, 24, 48 hours uh, parking mode SD copy here we can set how much uh, SD card, micro SD card will be used uh, for total parking mode. Uh, no more than 50% is the maximum. It's a good option uh, in case you don't want to be all files be over overwritten. And time set here. Yeah. So here you can set time, date, hours, minutes. Okay, let's go back now to the recording mode. Start recording. So now it's recording, and yeah, I have to wait until screen goes screen goes uh, off. Uh, I would like to show you the air touch function. The air touch function is this sensor here, and uh, as previously mentioned, after two minutes, uh, LCD goes into the standby or um, shuts off, but still the the camera. Uh, dash camera is working and I'm gonna show you about um, the air touch function this is the function which activated by the front um, sensor here when LCD is off you can either tap on the screen uh, to turn on the LCD or you just can wave in front of the sensor and as you can see it brings the screensaver in this case my screensaver was set to the speed so when you're driving it will show the speed and kilo kilometers per hour 
and by tapping one more time you can bring the actual camera view from camera view and one more time and it's it's a menu button so and front view again if you for example if you're now driving and want to record some event which is not um, activated by G sensor just hold for two seconds that I and you heard the beep it means uh, 20 second event was recorded from the moment of uh, five seconds before you hold this eye or sensor and 15 seconds after so length of 20 second in total will be saved in in separate uh, event folder okay let's go and look into the viewer image viewer mm. Stop recording. it's pretty interesting uh, it has a in total it has a eight folders so four folders for the front camera and four folders for the rear camera okay let's do rear camera the identical functions so first folder shows um, continuous recordings by one minute uh, uh, video segments the second it's when you're driving continuous recording uh, with event with the G sensor activated uh, 20 second files the third one it's for parking mode motion detection so it's gonna show uh, all motion detection activated recordings in parking mode the fourth one it's uh, G sensor activated uh, recordings when car is parked on your computer when you be watching so you can uh, select and watch what kind of uh, recordings they were made when car is parked and G sensor activated car is parked motion detection activated when you were driving uh, maybe some some uh, acceleration uh, deceleration activated um, G, uh, G sensor or somebody hit uh, from behind or sides so those were will be recorded in separate files uh, folders sorry so here the rear camera So as you can see it's a 20 second, 20 second uh, any event uh, in those one, two, three folders. There is also interesting feature uh, like um, zoom in playback mode. So now for example I'm gonna choose front view camera, um, some footage, let's say this one. You can play this footage and for example you want to zoom this car number, you just pause, then you hold two seconds on the screen and it will appear here, zoom key, just activated, sorry, just activated and now tap onto the screen as, and you can see car number closer, my camera doesn't focus but yeah, now you can see it's the car number is uh, zoomed in. Again, if you tap zoom out, one tap zoom out, zoom in. So this is this is nice feature. And now it's back to the playback mode. So the same you can do for the front or rear camera the zoom in function function and in the end uh, when you switch off uh, your ignition car uh, the car dash camera goes into the parking mode just a moment I'm gonna show you so switch off ignition shifting to parking mode and the uh, voice will prompt the message as you heard that it goes into the parking mode so now the green light stops blinking but the camera itself as you can see now it's again screensaver after that it will be in parking mode
and again just warning message showing that LCD is turned off for parking mode. Other than that, now camera is set for motion detections and for uh, G-sensor uh, detected recordings. If I hit it, it will record. If uh, motion detected in front of the camera, it will record. So it will do everything it's meant to do. And now when I'm going to switch on ignition back, uh, it will boot up. And uh, as at the beginning of this video I showed you, it will prompt uh, the warning message about activities uh, when you when car was parked. So it's going to show me uh, how many G sensor activated recordings uh, have been saved. Impact during parking has been identified. So you hear the uh, voice message. Yeah, I like to have here voice message because um, if if this dash camera is hidden behind the rear view mirror, start recording. Uh, sometime, like not sometime, most of the time, if uh, there is no is sorry, if there is no voice uh, prompt warnings, you don't see. Like you, you, you know not always you want to read what's on display so I keep my voice uh, messages uh, activated or on so I can hear uh, what's what happened during recording and one more function uh, it's memory card format I'm gonna show you and that will be it so now it, the SD card. it take uh, a little bit time to format SD card or correct would be micro SD card after formatting it will uh, confirm that format is done and it will show the capacity then it's reboot the system and uh, goes into the um, goes into the video recording mode as you can see now. So it's starting up. Takes a few more seconds and it goes into the continuous Start record recording. recording mode and another let's say three five GPS seconds. Is connected. Three seconds uh, GPS. So that's it. Thank you for watching.